All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're talking about the latest release from the house of John Barbados, and that is Artisan Pure. So, some of you guys out there may remember I gave you a first impression on this fragrance during my last unboxing video, and the feedback that I gave you overall, this one was pretty good. So, now that I had some time to truly experience this fragrance, I figured I'd hit you guys off with a full review. So, this one is a 2017 release. And from my understanding, this is maybe, I think, the fifth installment of the Artisan lineup. If you had any experience with the OG Artisan fragrance, then you will probably agree it was a citrus-based fragrance with an herbal twist. And to me, this take on the Artisan lineup is still heavy in citrus, but more of that woody undertone. And it's still a very nice take on the original if you ask me. So I guess some of you guys would like to see the full presentation on the bottle, so here you go. So that's your presentation and here's your distribution. It's a very nice take on the original if you ask me. I think this one brings an additional layer of elegance and luxury to the John Vavados um, Artisan lineup. This one opens up really bright and clean. It's orange, it's bergamot, it's lemon. And again, to me, it's a very clean and unadulterated approach on the original fragrance. In the mid, you get some floral notes that begin to shine through. You have that orange flower, cardamom. And then in the base, you get a bit of sweetness as well with that tonka. And those woody nuances come through as well as you get a double dose with Texas and Virginia cedarwood. The composition of this fragrance alone makes this one prime to do well in spring and summer months or all year round if you live in a tropical type environment like me. And although this one is nice in the open, I feel the gem of this fragrance, the true life of this fragrance becomes in the dry down. And during my testing of this fragrance, um, as my day went on and I began to catch more whiffs of this fragrance, more wafts in the air, is when I truly begin to enjoy this one. I think the true beauty of this fragrance is in the dry down. I truly think the name and presentation for this fragrance actually accurately depicts the juice, man. You don't always get that in the fragrance. You have the wood base here, which to me symbolizes the woody base notes. And then you have that white wicker here, which symbolizes purity. So I think those two things alone accurately depicts this fragrance, man. You don't actually get that in a lot of the fragrance out there in the market today. So I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Oh yeah. Overall, I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance and I think you will as well. And yes, I know you guys are wondering, the performance has been greatly improved on this one. Um, before, you know, three, four hours and it'll be gone. But this one, I'm getting about eight hours, well into the eight hour range with this one. Um, I like it. I enjoy it. I give it uh, maybe eight and a half on a scale of 10. I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. So if you're looking for it, those are my thoughts and opinions on it. Be sure to check this one out yourself. There's your bottle. Oh, in case you forgot, it does come in a... Fuck the box. And there you have it, guys. I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, and we back again. They hit the goddamn bell.